Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to scan documents and pictures from physical media to your computer. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial. So for example, if you had a document you wanted to upload to your computer, this tutorial will be for you. And all we're going to do in order to accomplish this is going to be to head to the start menu. You want to open it up, then type in facts. And the best match that comes up should say Windows Fax and Scan right above Desktop App. You want to left click on it once to open it up. Now you also want to make sure your printer is already registered on your computer, meaning I'm assuming most of you guys have printed to your printer before and it should be recognized by this application. If you have not already installed the printer software, I'd recommend you do that first. And then all you have to do once you've ensured your printer is also turned on, you want to left click on New Scan right here. Like I said, you have to make sure your printer is on. And then if your printer is turned on, you should have two options. It should say either scan and preview. I'd recommend just clicking on scan. And then it'll take a few moments to scan the document. Once you're done doing that, you have the ability to save it to an output folder. So you could save it to a desktop, the documents, pictures folder, whatever you prefer. And it's pretty straightforward from there. I mean, I pretty much show you guys exactly how to get to this utility. And then once the printer is turned on, you want to set new scan. I have noticed with using this application before, sometimes you have to have your printer on for a minute or two before it'll be recognized. It's kind of annoying, but that's just how some printers are. So don't be discouraged if you get that alert right away. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.